Those fabled Weatherfield cobbles have countless stories to tell, and some are stranger or more shocking than others. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 WTF Coronation Street moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we've selected classic Corrie storylines and scenes that are best remembered either for their instant shock factor or for their general strangeness in terms of characters, plot points, and storylines. From unforgettable crimes to inexplicable comic moments, the street has seen it all. Number 10, Reg's Waterbed. It's cold in here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the early 90s, the rather eccentric Reg Holdsworth showed us all why waterbeds really should be a thing of the past. In a fumbling attempt to woo Maureen, as part of a long-running love story, he and she ended up on top of his wobbly mattress together, so what could possibly go wrong? My horoscope this morning, do you know what it said? No. <laughs> You're gonna have a big surprise across the water! Oh, <laughs> good lord, that is uncanny, that. It turns out everything, as the bed inevitably bursts after a spot of DIY in the floor below, leads to a drill going straight through it. What follows is a lengthy series of embarrassments, as a nearly naked Reg splashes around in a towel, and Maureen tries desperately to find something to wear. No man in his right mind will keep a water bed in his bedroom! Number 9, Eileen and Gail fight. You get my daughter pregnant, run off with another man, and all you can say is sorry! A character who's quite often the centre of the drama, long-term Weatherfield resident Gail found herself in a full-on, though pretty funny to watch, brawl in the middle of the street in 2004. Her rival, the lady who lived at House 11, Eileen Grimshaw. It all came about after Eileen's son Todd, who was dating Gail's daughter, Sarah, came out as gay. <laughs> In totally irrational and somewhat embarrassing scenes, Gail tears into Eileen about his son, and in full view of the street, the fight quickly gets physical. Naturally, the pair were at it again in 2015. <laughs> Number 8. Who Killed Tina? It wouldn't be a British soap without weeks long who done it to keep audiences in suspense, would it? The question is, you backstabbing little tramp, what next? And who better to be at the centre of it than the Paul's No Punches, notoriously unpopular with almost all of her neighbours, Miss McIntyre. After much Cluedo-like speculation, it eventually turned out that it was Rob Donovan who killed Tina, whose method was to throw her off a balcony. I will never keep my mouth shut, Rob! I will shout it from the rooftop! Go on, try it! Ultimately, the final scenes were pretty difficult to watch, made even more brutal by the metal pipe to finish the job. But the storyline is best remembered for its long series of twists, turns, and seemingly impossible revelations. Oh, and then there were Tina's final words. I was bonk up here. I got it too. Classic. Number seven, Free Deirdre. I sentence you to 18 months imprisonment. This one was all kinds of WTF, so much so that even the Prime Minister at the time, Tony Blair, got involved with the infamous Free the Weatherfield One campaign. In one of British TV's biggest miscarriages of justice, the lady who wore probably British TV's biggest pair of glasses was wrongfully convicted of fraud. Fans will remember, of course, that Deirdre had found herself in hot water after falling for a conman who used her account for his own dodgy finances. Have you anything to say? I didn't do any of it. And so, the national outrage threatened to get out of hand when she was finally sentenced. But there were sweet celebrations when she was eventually released. See, you're getting out of here. I've got six months whether I like it or not, no matter what I do. So have this one on me. Yeah! Number six, the Richard Hillman killings. What are you doing? 
He should have stayed at the party, Maxine. To undeniably one of Corrie's, maybe British telly in general's, most famous killers. Brian Capron, the actor who played Richard Hillman, reckons he's still getting greeted with actual anger whenever he meets fans, so strong was the character's impact. The writers truly went to town in giving him some horrific acts, which saw him murder people with a shovel and a crowbar, as well as gaslighting an elderly lady, setting a house on fire, and most memorably, driving the Platt family into a canal with You and Me song by the Wannadies playing on the car stereo. I love you! Luckily, they all survived, except for dastardly Dick. Where's Richard? <laughs> I'll never mind him. You just try and keep warm, mate. Number five, Deirdre throwing a dessert. I'll find the hundreds and thousands. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine without them. No, it won't. Back to more trifling matters. We've all thrown a wobbly before, but not all of us have thrown a wobbly dessert. During a particularly tense family mealtime, when Peter Barlow was awaiting trial for the aforementioned murder of Tina, it all became a bit too much for the lady in lenses. After discovering her pudding hadn't set, she launched it straight at the wall before delivering this iconic and true line. Jelly shouldn't run, it should wobble. A scene that was definitely unexpected, it stood out for its weirdness especially considering that it was part of a more serious storyline. Number 4. Tracy Murders Charlie Like most soaps, Corrie has had its fair share of love rats, Charlie Stubbs being no exception. Sit down for a minute and listen to me. I've listened to you long enough. However, in Tracy McDonald, he clearly picked the wrong person to mess around with. After cheating him out of money for a fake abortion, she struck him with a fatal blow to the noggin using a brass ornament, all whilst giving him a lap dance to the song Whatever by Oasis. <laughs> it all unfolds as any classic Cory caper should, but the real shock came when she hit him the second time and all the while when there were kids in the room next door. <laughs> Number 3. Les and Scylla's Jacuzzi It shouldn't take the intervention of a Great Dane and a soggy pizza to tell you that a jacuzzi in a modest terrace isn't always the best idea. But that's how it went here. Les and Scylla's romantic bath was going well until the legendary Schmeichel, the dog and not the Danish goalkeeper, dunked himself in with them after sniffing out their takeaway. <laughs> The result, as you can imagine, was utter carnage, until the couple and the dog were sent crashing into the lounge below. <laughs> Hands up if you saw this coming. Nope, us neither. Number 2. The New Year's Eve Ghost You know this place, I'm telling you, I've got something about it. Asbestos. Kick Sutherland has carved quite a reputation as the source of Corrie comic relief over the years, but has he ever been involved in a storyline quite as bizarre as this one? It's haunted, dog. I read about it in The Inexplicable. Don't be so daft, no such thing as ghosts. Shh. Don't hear you. The unexpected action took place on New Year's Eve 2018, as Kirk and Deb found themselves blindsided by what felt to them like a very real and pretty terrifying ghost. Is that one my feet up? Come on, get out of here! It turned out to be a prank, but for a few short minutes, audiences were made to feel like they were watching a left-field, low-budget 1980s horror flick. And quite frankly, it was brilliant. Number 1. The Tram Crash for those of you who ever wondered what the mysterious bridge over the cobbles was for, then this sort of answers that question. In what looks like a scene straight out of a disaster movie, an explosion at the joinery led to an unfortunate opening in the bridge. Obviously, the communication lines must have been down, as not too long afterwards, a tram comes flying off the tracks and into the cabin and corner shop below. It's all so sudden and so incredibly OTT. 
But what's even more shocking is that the quickly quiet hellish situation kills off Molly and street stalwart Ashley Peacock. Stop. A sad day for soap fans. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.